today I'm well I'm not gonna be filming this but I'm gonna just show y'all how I'm about to quickly style my hair whatever I'm about to do a G Sue and Shane Justin well I guess shop so real and uh Shane Justin clothing rule this is one of Shane Justin's pieces you can see a little sneak peek but if you want to see the whole thing make sure you guys tune into that video so yesterday so previously I had my hair like this i mean i slept so the button is real not giving right now so i'm trying to fix it up and i want to curl my hair but i don't want to take a million days so even though this is not going to be a th uh, tutorial oh my gosh this is not going to be a thorough tutorial on how i do this trick but if y'all want to see a thorough tutorial on how i do this then comment down below and i'll make sure i give that to y'all it's really simple not too hard and this is going to be i guess a good example of it but Say you want your whole head curled, say you don't have a half of half down, you might want to still do this method. So I'll show you guys that um, in a separate video if that's what you want. So anyways, let's just get started. And this is not going to be a voiceover either. This is going to be a um, talk through because it's going to be really fast. So I don't see the point in making it a voiceover. So anyways, now that that's out of the way, let's get started. So being that I don't need a bun anymore, thank God, because y'all, when I tell y'all, it was a challenge messing with this ponytail bun thing it was a challenge with the, it was the, this hairstyle period was just a challenge period so i'm gonna try to fix it up and make it look decent but hopefully it comes out good hopefully because it's so this is why i always tell y'all it's better to you know style your hair while it's on the mannequin head because if you're not like around anybody who can help you it may be a little bit challenging so this might be a good alternate for you i'm gonna have to fix this up because we want everything to be perfect i'll fix this up later i even had to put detail to cover for some mistakes like y'all it was a little challenging but i'm gonna get this so i'm gonna just I'm gonna just brush this out at the top first. This is this part is gonna be easy because uh, you don't really have to do too much. You could just do one curl and you're good. Um, I would, you can add a bundle if you want it to be more voluminous, but I'm probably gonna tease the curls. So after I tease the curls, then it'll get big up on its own. But you could add. Um, a bundle or something like that if you want it to be a little bit thicker. So first I'm just going to curl this piece right here. You want to curl it real tight. And I'm saying you want to curl it tight because it's gonna, it's not going to last you too, too long. Cause it's a fast, nice way to get some curls, but in my experience, it doesn't last too long. So I'm just letting y'all know that. Um, this hair on the details, this hair is from Nadula. I always, this hair is from Nadula, and I work with them all the time. I really like their hair, so they sent me a 20 inch transparent run to four buttons of 26 inches. Now, um, y'all, when I tell y'all, transparent front is really the best. Like, between transparent and HD front tools, I don't know which is my favorite. I love, no, HD is my favorite, but I like how you can make the transparent lace whatever you want it to be. You can do that with the HD too, but I just like, you know, that actually happen to put it into work. Some people don't like that, whatever, but I actually like the craft of, you know, customizing something and making it fit you. So, with an HD front tool, it's super easy. When I tell y'all it's super easy, to install it and blend it because it's an HD front, so you don't have to do much, you know? All right, so I'm gonna put this flexi rod in. Yo, I didn't put flexi rods in my hair while my hair was on my head in so many years, y'all. Oh my God, this feels like 2015, like 2014, 2015. I haven't done this in a while. It's so stuck on my chain. All right, so for this part, all you want to do, you want to make sure you brush it out. You want to get all the tangles out. And then, although I could just put some curls in here, I told you I was going to show y'all something else. So I like to take 
I like to take a squinchy. Yes, y'all can see all my BBs. Well, they not BBs, but it ain't as nice as it should be looking in that kitchen. It's a little hot in there. You wanna just put it in the squinchy? And, well, I guess if y'all wanna see more, know more about it, I'll make a video on it. But, so this ponytail is heavy, so it's, hold on. Let me fix that, cause, yeah, so ponytail is a little heavy. What you're gonna do is you're gonna separate it. Um, I'll do, just cause I want it to look really nice, I'll do four separate parts. So, you're gonna separate it into four separate sections, and obviously you're gonna curl each. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna use some spritz, cause I do want my curls to hold for a little bit. You just gonna run it through there. With this one, do not rush. Like, even though it's a quick method, quick methods, you have to do it right. Being that it is so quick, because it's easy to mess up. So, take your time. You're only doing four sections. You cannot argue with that. Guys, remember when doing this technique as soon as you drop that curl, you have to ah, woo, and be careful because you will burn yourself. As soon as you finish with that curl, you have to pin it. Well, flexy about it. Uh, this one is coming off a little bit. Y'all, when I tell you I haven't used flexi rods in so many years, it's not even funny. Alright, it's really looking like I could use three sections. Let me see.
All right, now you're gonna let it cool off for about 10 minutes, literally like 10 minutes, and then we're gonna take out the curls and see how everything came out. All right, so I let it sit, and I'm just gonna take the flexi rods out. You, and it's not like you want the curls. Well, if you do, that's on you, but I'm not looking for perfect curls. I just wanted something quick and cute. So we're gonna take these rods out. I could have did a way better job that flexi like rod and easy, but I don't know what was going on with them today. So you're gonna take the ponytail out. And I, oh, I was about to tell you the secret. See if there's some quick, nice little ways. I think it's more effective when it's the whole head, really. And if I would have did four, they probably would have been tighter. But, you know. So we just go one of these. I do want it to sit up high, so I'm gonna put it a little bit higher. See these at the top is tighter, but I want them all to like merge into each other if y'all understand what I'm saying. Also, we're just gonna take a piece from the back. And spritz it and wrap it because we want it to be nice and neat even though it's not as neat as it could be because lord knows how much better this would look if it wasn't my head that it was on and I did it with somebody else I swear this could be so much neater, but this is the best I'm about to do for right now. Don't want it to be super neat. I'm just gonna play with it. Like I said, if you want it to be a little bit thicker or whatever, you can always add a bundle. But that's not what I want today. Alright, I really want to fix this and make it more like nice looking. But I'm scared to like start over and I'll just have to really start over and redo the ponytail and redo everything. So I'm going to try to just fix it just a little bit. And hopefully, God forbid. Like, don't bring me into this. Like, I don't know what this little piece is trying to do. But... And then we're going to spray a little bit of this for some sheen. Shane, Justin, and G School, or whatever. Hold on because I'm about to film it right now and it's gonna be only popping. So I'm gonna see y'all in my next video and make sure y'all tune into that video as well. My love.